Now, just because Kate Middleton is Princess of Wales and future Queen of Consort, she can have whatever she wants whenever she wants it, doesn't mean she's forgotten about the simpler things in life, like spending time outdoors like a normal person. Prince and Princess of Wales were seen jumping out of a black Range Rover as they made a rest stop at the picturesque inn on the lake in Ullswater, whose parent group, Lake District Hotels Limited, hosted Kate and William three times during their trip. The royal couple and their family were spotted being escorted from the budget flyby plane and getting into waiting vehicles. Princess Kate wore her brown hair loose in waves and dug out her favorite light khaki 130-pound jumper made from recycled wool from trendy Swedish outdoor brand Fjallraven. She wore a loose-colored shirt underneath and coordinated the outfit with a tan-colored military-style bag and a pair of blue jeans. The hotel revealed that Prince William commented on the view from the bedroom being fantastic, and they hoped that they would be able to stay longer next time they visit the Lake District. It was quite a short break. They came and had afternoon tea with us at the inn on the lake. The couple were served a full afternoon tea in one of the luxury lake view bedrooms at the hotel, with views across Lake Ullswater. During their time at the inn on the lake, the Duke and Duchess met the hotel's director, Danny Hope, and her two children, Harry and Ellie. Danny said, what a day we've had. We feel absolutely privileged to have been asked to cater for the royal visit. Both Inn on the Square and Inn on the Lake have done a fantastic job, and it was an absolute pleasure to meet the prince and princess. On top of that, it was a wonderful opportunity for Harry and Ellie to meet the future king and queen. They were both so friendly and took time to chat with us, with Kate asking Harry if his favorite food was pizza, but he replied, no, it's chips. During the nature walk, the princess said she is immersing her three children in her love for the mountainous area of Britain's Lake District. The princess said that it was raining a lot and it was a long way from their home in Norfolk, but they love it here. And she added to others that they were fortunate to live in the area she clearly has a close attachment to. Her three children also love coming here and walking in the fells. She told us how nice the Lake District was and how lucky we were to live so close to the mountains. A full afternoon tea at the hotel is priced $22.95 and includes a selection of the following freshly prepared finger sandwiches. Honey and orange roasted gammon and hawkshead piccalilli, applebee creamery cheddar cheese and sweet pickle, egg and chive mayonnaise, cucumber and creme fraiche with black pepper. The tea also includes a homemade savory treat, homemade plain and fruit scone with butter, jam and clotted cream, homemade patisseries, macaroon and traditional mini trifle. Sounds delicious! A selection of teas and filter coffees are also offered. During a visit to a Cumbrian farm, the princess gamely helped shear a sheep. Never one to shy away from a challenge, Kate giggled as she helped the Brown family tend to their flock of Herdwick and Swaledale sheep at Deepdale Hall Farm in Patterdale. William also got stuck in with the day's chores, trying his hand at shearing and joining his wife to help repair a dry stone wall on the estate. The couple also joined the Cumbria Wildlife Trust on a nature walk through the farm and took in the view of the stunning countryside. The visit marked the culmination of a busy day of engagements in the region, which also saw the couple meet with local residents, sample local produce, and learn more about the challenges facing farmers.